guys so welcome back to another video i am in my car and i am about to go to the grocery store um it's really crazy right now with everything going on with the coronavirus but uh i obviously still have to feed my family so i am about to go to winn dixie to get some food and a couple of other things that we need around the house so I'm going to go do that and then I'm going to film a little haul for you guys. So I hope everybody's staying safe. I hope everyone's able to find all of the things that you may need right now. I know a lot of people are stocking up and getting a lot of items more than what they may need. But uh, I would just say try to stay kind and some people have reasons for being extra cautious and stocking up on more things. There are people who have underlying disease that they don't want to be going out right now at all. So they're getting ready for being at home for quite some time. There are families that have, you know, five, six, seven kids that they do need to get more toilet paper. So I'd just say try to be kind and understanding. I know it's frustrating when you go to the store and there's not uh, what you need in the store, but everybody's doing their best, I think. And so I am going to go and do my best and get what I can for my family. And I will talk to you guys when I get home and do the haul. So as always, thank you for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe if you aren't already and let's get on to the grocery store. Okay, I just came out of the grocery store. I have like groceries all stacked up because I have this tiny car, but um, sorry if you can hear the air conditioning. It's really hot in Florida. Um, so it was crazy in there. Um, my healthy eating thing that I've been trying to do has been thrown completely out the window. Um, pretty much all the eggs were sold out. All the milk was sold out. Produce was very scarce. There was no potatoes, onions. Um, the vegetables were really low in my store. Uh, a lot of the orange juice was gone. So uh, even a lot of the frozen veggies. So <laughs> this is going to be all filled with just a ton of junk, unfortunately. And I guess that's just what I have to deal with right now. Um, I guess the kids will be happy because they're going to be stuck home for a couple of weeks so uh, I will show you guys all of the stuff that I got when I get home so see you guys there all right guys I am home I have the food behind me it is so much stuff so I'm just gonna get right into it there's some frozen stuff that I need to get in the freezer so I just want to get Onto it. It's going to take a little bit of time as you can see so I will get on to showing you guys what I got. I'll tell you guys some of the recipes that I will be making. Um, and I wanted to add that we did pick up a big meat bundle from a grocery store a couple of days ago so we have a ton of ground beef, steaks, uh, burgers, chicken. So I will let you guys know what I will be making if it includes uh, some of that meat. So well, let's get um, into it. This was the absolute last bag of potatoes that they had in the store. So I grabbed that. Um, I got some bananas. They're pretty green, so that's good. They'll last a little bit. These are not from Winn-Dixie. Asher got these from Dollar Tree yesterday. I did find children's Motrin in Winn-Dixie. Um, they, I haven't been able to find it anywhere else, so I wanted to have that on hand. We were almost out of garbage bags, so I got some of those. And then I'll just start right here, the eggs. I never get these eggs, but this is all that there was left in the store. They were like almost $6 per dozen. So unfortunately, that's what I had to get. We eat a lot of eggs in this house, and so I couldn't get more than two, because 
that's just a ton of money. So we'll have to do with that. Then I got um, a crescent dough sheet. There's a recipe that I found for some uh, cheesy taco bites. You like roll the crescent dough out and you put a cheese stick and some ground beef with taco seasoning in it. And so I thought that would be a fun treat to make while we are at home. I got crescent rolls just to have for any meal to go with uh, any meal, or I like to make them with cinnamon sugar on top and chocolate chips inside, and that's like a yummy sweet breakfast. I got these uh, Jimmy Bean Heat and Serve Original Sausage Patties. Asher really likes the links, but they didn't have it, so I got the patties. I'm just skipping over here because I want to put these away really quick. So I got a couple different ice cream options. I got the uh, Luigi's Real Italian Ice in lemon and strawberry. I got this big 24 pack of ice cream sandwiches, and then I saw these and I thought the kids would love to try them. They're mini swirl strawberry shortcake cones. So those are just some ice cream options that I thought would be nice to have in the house. Uh, for desserts or whatever. All right, I came back over here so I could stay in order. Um, so I got what I could from the frozen vegetables because that was really picked over. There wasn't a lot left. All of the really super expensive stuff was left. Um, so I picked up the spring vegetables. Uh, you can steam it in the bag. I got a seasoning blend because there really wasn't much for um, fresh produce at my grocery store. I got some Doritos and tortilla chips. I picked up blueberries and strawberries. The kids love those. I wanted to get some salad kits, so I got this chopped kit sunflower crunch and then a classic lo mein mix. I got the Kara Kara oranges. I didn't see any um, Kalos or Cuties, so I got those. Then I got a bag of steamable baby Brussels sprouts, a big bag of broccoli cuts, a bag of white onions. There wasn't really much left for onions in our store as well. Um, I wanted to have some some more sweet treats, so I got soft chunky peanut butter and chewy chocolate chip cookies. Those were buy one, get one free, so I picked those up. I got some protein plant-powered uh, tortillas and then some just regular uh, tortillas. We like to use those for lots of different things. Then um, more for snacks, I got pretzels, some awesome apple Nutri-Grain Kids, they're like little pouches with a couple different, um, or not different, with a couple of little pieces inside the kids like those. I got popcorn, and then I got two different kinds of oatmeals. They were on buy one, get one, too. I got the fruit and cream, and then the apples and cranberry. I don't like oatmeal, but my kids and Asher do, so I got that. I got some pancake mix. That's a good thing to have on hand for breakfast if we don't have anything else. We have two things of um, syrup, so we're good on that. Then I saw these blueberry Cheerios and I thought those would be good to try for the boys. And then, moving on, um, I got these, another fun thing for them to try since we're gonna be stuck in the house. I got uh, Dragon Treasure Snack Packs they say infused with dragon magic and there's surprise tattoos inside so i thought that would just be fun for them to have there's six in there then i got some hot dogs the boys love hot dogs i did not get any buns because there was none on the shelf so we'll just have to do with regular bread we have three loaves of that so i put two in the freezer so we're good there i got two things of Velveeta shells and cheese uh, let's see, I got coffee creamer, uh, that's just like the Winn-Dixie brand. I got some toaster strudels for another quick breakfast. A giant bag of golden fries for sides for lunches or dinners. A giant, think, a giant container of applesauce. I tend to get this instead of the little cups because it just, it just works better for us that way. 
Um, I got Danimal smoothies. They really like those. And I also got them Go-Gurts because they love yogurt. So I just decided to get that. And I'm just now realizing that I forgot to get cottage cheese, which is one of Ezra's favorites. I wish I hadn't forgotten. Um, but I got these for Asher, original Greek toasted coconut vanilla. And then I also got these Yoplait originals with real fruit. That's a mixed berry. And then I got him this orange cream one. Um, so, oh, back over here, I got some Jurassic nuggets for a quick lunch or dinner. And then the milk. So there was barely any milk. I, uh, I did take a couple clips inside of the store of some empty shelves and this was one of them. So I got, this was the last one of the low percent, the 1% milk. There was only one thing left of whole milk and then chocolate milk. And the only thing other than that was this organic milk. And this was $5 itself. So I unfortunately had to pay that, but I wanted to make sure we had milk in the house. Next, I got the V8 Splash Watermelon Cherry and Strawberry Lemonade. They are antioxidant C and B vitamins. So I got those. I got these pancake and sausage on a stick, which I love, and so do the boys. Uh, back over here, I got goldfish in the flavor blasted flavor. Some pot-sized thin spaghetti. Uh, I got some cream cheese for different uh, recipes. It's just a good staple to have on hand. Another thing that we have to have in the house is coffee. It would not be good if we ran out of coffee. These were buy one, get one, so I got salted caramel and French vanilla. Another fun thing I got for the boys was fruit by the foot flavor mixers. I thought they would just enjoy having those as a snack. Back there, I have two jugs of orange juice with calcium and vitamin D. And then I saw these and I thought that would be cool to try. It's mini snack mix with pizza rolls, mozzarella sticks, cheesy marinara bites, and garlic bread bites. Then I have some canned items here. I didn't need much in that uh, area because we already have some, but I got uh, these last three cans of tuna. They didn't have any more tuna left on the shelves. I got two cans of sweet corn. I like to add those to just any random recipe. I wanted to make sure that I got some diced tomatoes to keep in the pantry. I got some baby kosher dills. Two cans of sweet peas. Some frozen blueberries and back there you can see I got a couple of drink items to keep in the house. I got some zero sugar uh, regular coke and then some cherry vanilla zero sugar coke. I got cinnamon apple spice tea and raspberry zinger tea. I've really been loving tea so I wanted to try those. I got over there some whipped cream to just have in the house. I got these for a quick lunch or dinner for the boys. It's the combination to Tina's party pizza pack. Then um, some condiments. I got sour cream, mayo, chunky blue cheese, ranch. I got this tomato ketchup. It says with a blend of veggies, so I thought I would try that for the boys. We got a bunch of wings in our meat package, so I got wing sauce. We were out of black pepper, and this was buy one, get one, so I got that. And then the boys really like these vanilla flavored yogurt covered raisins, so I got these two packs, so we have a good amount of those. And then I saw these next to it, Raisel Sours, Golden Raisins Watermelon Shock, so I got those for them to try. These I got for me, some double chocolate protein meal bars, just in case I need something quick. I tend to need something quick for breakfast. So I got that, and then I love Slim Jims, and they keep well, so I got those. And then over here is all the cheese. A couple more um, bags of frozen veggies, I got the California ones. And then I got various shredded cheeses. I'm gonna put some in the freezer. And then I got a couple different sliced cheeses and string cheese. So that was everything. I hope you guys enjoyed it, um, and I did 
forget to mention, I am going to be making a couple salad bowls. So I am gonna add meat to these. Um, I'm gonna use some of these. I like to add like heavy cream and cheese and then you just add chicken or ground beef to it. It's a really quick and easy meal and it's not uh, filled with carbs. So I like doing that. Like I said, I'm gonna be making some wings. Um, I'll be making quesadillas with some of those tortillas. So I have lots of options to make with all this stuff and we have tons of snacks now so I think we are good. All right so I showed you guys everything. I'm gonna put everything away um, and yeah so I am glad to be stocked up on food now. I don't need to go back out to the store and now we have plenty of random medicines and stuff like that in the house just in case and so that's it. That's all we can do really to be prepared if we have to be in the house for a super long time. So I'm going to put everything away. I hope you guys stay safe. I hope you guys are prepared as well. And thank you again for watching my channel. I hope that this took you away for a couple of minutes to just enjoy a video and not be worried about too many things. Uh, everybody's worried right now, so I know that's hard, but I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you on the next video.